book says that the route's through here. And I know a better way. You've seen the movie trailer. All you have to remember is that everything will be okay. Oh my God, Aaron! A young college grad thrill seeker climbing impossibly narrow Utah slot canyons. Alone, miles from help. That actor went home to a hotel after shooting the scene. The real Aaron Ralston survived 127 hours, trapped in the canyon, first cutting and then breaking clear through the bone. For many of us, that might be the worst day of our life. Not for Aaron. For me, this was the greatest thing that has ever happened to me. And I use this as a metaphor then, that there are the boulders in our lives that are going to fall on us. And we make a choice. We choose whether that is going to be a tragedy or whether it might even be a blessing. Aaron Ralston detailed the story you don't see in the movie, how he never gave up trying to escape the inescapable, telling dealers that virtually all of us spend too much time avoiding tough choices. And I knew, even, even from the very beginning, I was gonna have to cut my arm off. I don't wanna cut my arm off. Well, that's a pretty rational response. <laughs> and I said, dude, you're gonna have to cut your arm off. Today, Aaron is back climbing the planet's highest mountains and inspiring audiences to overcome their own boulders. After days of failing to cut through his own arm, he discovered the answer. 127 hours, and then finally this epiphany comes. And it was, that's it, that's it, that's it. I don't have to cut through the bone. I can use the boulder, break the bones. And this smile came up in my face. And indeed, it only took me a minute, and I, I pushed down. Wow! <laughs> that bone shattered. And I, I was going to get out of there. But moments before he had freed that arm, Aaron had an out-of-body experience. I actually did see myself leave the canyon. It says, I walked out of the canyon and into a living room where I saw a little boy, maybe three years old, uh, blonde hair, red polo shirt, playing with a truck. And then as I watched, I saw myself step into the room, and he comes running over to me and I, I see myself scoop him up with my left hand and a handless right arm. And we pranced around and danced and his eyes just lit up, uh, beautiful blue eyes to say, Daddy, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're home. Can we play? And then it, it blinked out and I was back trapped by the boulder shivering and shuddering. And, and yet that little boy gave me the hope, the, the courage strength to get through that night that I knew I was not going to get through and I saw the dawn. That was nine years ago. Today that visionary's child is Aaron's real son, Leo. It's how I know if I had to do this all over again, I would cut my other hand off to get back to him. And I see some nods. I'm pretty sure you have somebody in your lives that you would do it for too. Aaron had a camera while he was trapped. He recorded what he thought would be his last words, realizing that love and family were the only things that mattered. Mom, Dad, I love you. I'm sorry. I love you. I go out looking for adventure and trying to prove something about myself. Now I'm going to die. It's just dumb, dumb, dumb. I still have that tape. I look at it on occasion. It tells me what's important in my life. Many dealers and their families left the speech overwhelmed. That was amazing. <laughs> All you can see, I've shed a few tears today, so uh, very inspiring. He's exactly right. You, you realize what's important. I'm going to take it with me you know, through the rest of my life. Aaron Ralston told dealers that after their toughest economic years, they too are survivors. I mean, your boulders also be your blessings. Thank you. In Las Vegas, Andy Field, NADA-TV.